What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Madden 19 Mutt Squad's Top 10 Plays of the Week off the back heel whoop AJ Boye gets the deflection gets the juke move and gets into the end zone for the opening kickoff for this week's countdown to play number nine we go David Johnson is about to get sticky on the Falcons and it's safe to say they were not ready for what David Johnson had to offer that stiff arm's gonna get him home free all these plays you guys are seeing are fan submitted plays if you have your own play you guys want to submit for a future episode of Madden 19 Mutt Squad's top 10 plays of the week the emails in the description Obviously, gotta make sure it's in Mud Squad's play. As we go to play number eight, not over yet. This guy is down 17 points by himself. His teammates are gone, but he is still fighting with LaShawn McCoy, looking to take on the whole team. And Shady with that spin move is getting away. LaShawn McCoy, open field, some space to taunt. Oh, yes! Even though Hayward was nearby, Shady's able to fly away from him. As we go to play number seven, row the Mayfield. Last play of the first half, no one has scored yet. Enter Baker Mayfield. Taking off out the pocket, Baker's got a flair for the dramatics and a flair for the spin move. Baker Mayfield, touchdown, 55 yarder. As we go to play number six, Jester in Jacksonville. Tyreek Hill is about to clown on the Jaguars. He is showboating in his own end zone. And now he turns it up field. Is Tyreek going to pull this off? Yes, he is. The spin move in Tyreek Hill is gone. Showing up the Jaguars on their home turf. And of course, he's going to celebrate into the end zone. He's celebrating in his own end zone. Of course, he's celebrating on his way to their end zone. As we go to play number five, part the seas. Madden Noah says, get out of the way for Michael Vick. Third down and two, we got the first down. Cool. Now it's time to work on that touchdown. Michael Vick spinning away. Glover Quinn nearby. And oh, Morgan Burnett hits sticks air. You know you've done them dirty when they are hit sticking nothing but Casper the Ghost. Touchdown, Michael Vick. As we go to play number four, Patrick Peterson, very indecisive. First of all, he's not even facing the right way. Now he's not able to locate the ball. But Pat Pete is eventually going to get this whoop party started with some moves. Getting away from Elliott. Oh, man, can he get by the last? Oh, we got by the last wave. Patrick Peterson, that was just a... Man, man, man. You thought he was going to make a not top 10 play? Well, Pat Pete doesn't make not top 10 plays. As we go to play number three, kicking the game away. They're kicking the ball on first down and 10, but under two minutes to go, with a six point lead. This doesn't make any sense. The field goal is short, but that's not the story. The story is Ryan Shazier on the recovery, looking to go over 100 yards for the lead of the game. Shazier's got blocks, and Ryan Shazier, the 20, the 10, the five, and he is in. Not top 10 meets top 10 on that one. As we go to play number two, keep it moving. Packers looking for the lead in the early third quarter. He's going downfield, but that's going to be intercepted. A nice user pick, and now it's off to the races, and it's off to the laterals. One lateral, here comes number two, and a oh, whoop! No more laterals needed. Oh, man, get out the way, homie! I got touchdowns to score! Down the sidelines and into the end zone for play number two. Because this is just the number one play, maybe of the year. One second left. And the team up by three is bringing out the field goal unit. This makes no sense. But as long as the ball hits the ground, the game is over. But Sean Taylor tracks this one down and keeps the game alive. Now it's time to try to win the game on this very play. Sean Taylor in a box. Still going. Spinning again. And Sean Taylor down the sidelines. Remember the Titans. You will not forget that play anytime soon. What in the world were those guys doing kicking the ball? But man, as much as you want to blame those guys for doing something stupid, Sean Taylor just did the impossible by taking that one back to the crib. This play might be on that top 10 plays of the week on Monday as well. But right now, let's celebrate the good of this play. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys next time.